take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I mean, you can, but I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that. Welcome to Good Evening News. Welcome to Good Evening News. Give it up for Scott Fillmore. Scott Fillmore, and Brian Higgins, everybody. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Good Evening News, everyone. How are you? Yeah. Oh, let's see if we can bring that down to a two. All right. You know what? If the math serves us correctly, <laughs> it probably could. A little, little high to start, but we can, you know, we can yeah. <laughs> even that out. We could probably figure it out. Guys, it's Tuesday again. Thanks for coming out. Who's been to the show before? Wow. Gavin, Pat, how are we? <laughs> Thanks for coming back, guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, who hasn't been here? <laughs> Who's not sure if they're really here at all? <laughs> Who cheered twice? <laughs> Dude, guys, we do this every Tuesday, man. This is Good Evening News. I'm Jack Timmons. I'm Mikey Biggs. Every fucking Tuesday. Every fucking that's who Tuesday. I am. Every goddamn Tuesday. <laughs> On Wednesdays, I'm Candy Slice. <laughs> <laughs> do karaoke at the Happy Chicks downstairs. <laughs> they, they don't, don't do, do karaoke. karaoke. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta do it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> and a wheel in the sky keeps on turning. He's getting really good. <laughs> Sarah, can you leave? <laughs> the general manager is 98 years old. <laughs> She's a bitch. She is a bitch. That is true. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, this, uh, yeah, dude. Good evening, news. We bring you all the fucking shit. God, I gotta stop swearing so much. Uh, all the fucking shit the all fucking the, stupid fucking world all happens the right here. Crazy right in front of your dumb, stupid fucking eyes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. We gotta stop swearing. Fuck. Uh, yeah, man. We bring you guys. This week is no different, by the way. We got a bunch of freaking guys. Some of the smartest people we know. Uh, some of the dumbest people we know. Some of the fattest guys we found. <laughs> <laughs> and they're easy to find. They are easy to find. They're easy to catch. They're easy to wrangle down. They're actually not easy to catch. But no. <laughs> yeah. They're always covered in grease. <laughs> <laughs> they love this show. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's the free hot dogs we keep giving. Yeah. Oh, you can yeah. eat the foil, too. Yeah, you can't eat the foil. <laughs> Not that it's edible. It's just regular foil, but you can eat <laughs> They do have ketchup and mustard behind the bar. Just keep asking Dylan, even if he tells you no. Yeah, you gotta... <laughs> it's part of the drink special. Yeah, the ketchup and mustard. <laughs> yeah. Guys, look under your seats. <laughs> uh, you know, every week we started all the same, guys. Who's ready for the damn headlines, everybody? We got, we got, we got seven of them. We really, <laughs> and that's all the stuff that happened. <laughs> fucked off a little bit, but, yeah. uh, I mean, don't worry, they're also not that great, so, we, you're wondering about We it. didn't even drink today, that's the funniest part, we drank a lot We should be night. sober, we'll take it seriously, and then we wrote seven. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick kept telling us about all that fucking pedophile Spongebob shutter I wasn't listening, but yeah. it's, it's made me sad. Drake Bell, oh, my god. <laughs> Sorry, that was sad, I don't know why I even brought it yeah. up, fuck. <laughs> Can't believe you got raped by the slime. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Jason, was that you? <laughs> All right. Well, guys, the New York City Mayor Eric Adams is being accused of sexual assault by his former NYPD aide. Look, when we said fuck the police, we meant consensually. <laughs> fuck. Uh, Subway. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Subway has decided to replace all Coke products with Pepsi. Uh, that's so exciting, I almost forgot that fat fucking giant bread pedophile worked there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Singer Cola Boy is dead at 34. Terrible. Venues, <laughs> absolutely heartbreaking. Reminds me of that Drake Bell stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Venues have been uh, pretty upset lately when they ask for Cola Boy and they hear back, is Pepsi Boy okay? <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi Boy hasn't been okay since he met Jerry. <laughs> From Subway. For the Subway joke. <laughs> we had a Pepsi, uh, can I get a crown and Cola Boy? <laughs> Uh, the Pentagon said this week that women should start being integrated into marine platoons as part of recruit training. Oh boy. Uh, officials say that this will help Marines combat boring conversations. <laughs> More like temperify. <laughs> Girls, am I right? They're always, always so fucking pissed at me. So scary. Uh, uh, Pornhub was banned in the state of Texas last week, everyone. I know. I know. Hold your boners up, everybody. Yep. yep. We're gonna cut them off. You don't need them anymore. I know. First they came for the Pornhub, and we said nothing. <laughs> no, we promised we would had to read about that, too, by the way. That was not a... It was sad, but... At least they didn't ban gay Pornhub. <laughs> Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. That didn't make any uh, P. Terry's is adding chicken bites to their menu for a limited time. I guess we finally found out what the P stands for. <laughs> Man, I love me so. Terry's. No, it's pterodactyl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, former NHL player Chris Simon has passed away at the age of uh, 52. And guys, you'll never guess how. Uh, hockey puck to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> His cardiologist said he's been skating on thin ice for quite some time. <laughs> like a razor's edge between being alive and being dead. <laughs> so true. I, I really like the hockey puck for the heart one. Yeah. I think he was in the pile from that new True Detective season. Nobody saw that. Nobody <laughs> saw that. <laughs> Fuck. There's a hockey game going wrong. <sighs> Guys, that's, that's it. We did it. Woo! Give it up for the headlines, everyone. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Um. Guys, before we get this started, who's, who's excited to be here? Who's having a fun time? Yeah! yeah. Who gets the energy so far? Guys, stop uh, the clock. Yeah, they, if, you, if you're not having fun, get drunk as piss. Mm -hmm. um, just, just drink, man. Oh, we just, are serving piss as well. We are so serving piss, too. We don't drink, we've got piss. <laughs> got it mainlined. It's in-house piss. Yeah. The toilets are out of shit, so we don't have that, but we got piss. <laughs> they also have whippets, too, which kind of... Yeah. It makes yeah, this go a little You gotta know how to ask for him. You gotta go out there and say, hey man, can I get a fucking whip it? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what the fuck? Can I get a whip it? Yeah, yeah. So a secret yeah, menu please. item here at the Sunset Strip. Here, this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit it and jump. <laughs> Is that how you do whip it? That's just hard. It would, it would... Guys! <laughs> Guys, we can't start this show without our fucking... Oh. God, I mean, this son of a bitch, I tell you what. This guy has grown to be the coolest guy I know. Really is, honestly. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Amen to that. It's our, it's our weird-ass cousin, everybody. It's, it's Necromancer, Necromancer Nick. Necromancer Nick. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why'd you know? Hot dogs, lots of dogs. Don't give Nick a hot dog. Anybody want a dog? Dog man, I'll take one of those. Don't give him a hot dog. Oh my god, I told you. <laughs> Guys, uh, Nick's actually gonna do. Nick's our in house music, and he's actually doing a segment this week. He's gonna. Necromancer Nick's gonna teach us how to sing, everybody. Man, oh, I love that. I've always wondered how to sing. Oh, alright. <laughs> Psych? No, no. Psych? No, no, no. Boy, did I get his ass. No, no. 
no. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm presenting to you how to go on a date with a man. <laughs> <laughs> Is this functioning today? Yeah, it's functioning today. All uh, right, as you can see, that. Is that. <laughs> Yay. What the fuck? All right. Step one. Work somewhere where you can meet a lot of other gays. Oh, that's perfect. Because I'm sure you guys are like, oh, if I want to go on a date with a man, where would I do it? Well, you got to form your whole career around picking up dudes. So there's one good place you could work. Like, like for instance, Lululemon. <laughs> Jack, oh, that's great. Jack, you work at Lululemon. Yeah, I do work at Lululemon. Jack does, so right. So everything on this show has been endorsed by Lululemon. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't think we can legally that say that. True. What's the that uniform? A three-inch inseam? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, Lulu, am I right, Jack? Uh huh. All right. Thank you for visiting yeah, Lulu. Can I interest you in some up. sex with my butt? <laughs> you didn't even put quotes around it. Yeah, it's in a speech bubble, dipshit. <laughs> you sound so fucking stupid oh, my and. Fucking God. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's a pick an example of a pickup line. Any questions, Mikey? I think that's perfect. I, I like uh, that instead of trying to like flirt with them, you kind of just come straight out with them. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, like, can I, where's Scott? Can you confirm her? That's what, that's what gay guys like. They like they that. Really they like forward it. Like yeah, they like a hot piece of tits like this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, there you go. See, he's talking about you. Uh, <laughs> Step two is that you met one, met one of these guys, one of those guys taking, an, uh, taking up your offer of, of sex with your butt. Well, I like that you were like, hey, would you like to have sex with my butt? And the guy would be like, well, we should go get Well, drinks. sometimes <laughs> people say, I'm not sure about all that yet, but you do seem like a charming young fella. So let's go out. <laughs> let's go on and see where night takes us. So step two, go out for drinks and make sure to leave the ca your cards just in your card just in case they expect you to pay for it. Because mm, then you don't have to because you don't have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care if you drug this, as long as you pay. <laughs> talking about this, that you're drinking, that because of, because of poverty, <laughs> do that. Yeah, so that's step two. All right. Step three, propose sex afterwards. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? You know what I mean? You might as well bring it up. And you could just, if they say no, threaten a cyber attack on their finances. <laughs> You know, it's easy peasy. All you gotta do is say something cool, like, my friend from Xbox Live will ruin your life if you don't dump one in me. <laughs> my, my, my buddy online, his gamer tag is SickHacker69, and he will absolutely ruin your fucking finances if you don't crack one off in my tight hole. <laughs> That's, that's, there wasn't room in the speech bubble for that, but that's what the rest of what Jack says is. That's not realistic. Jack would never say that without throwing the n-word in there. So that's true. That's fucking true. That's true. Oh, fuck, I'm such a bad journalist. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Act like you were just joking about the other part. <laughs> you no one can prove otherwise. You know, they've already had sex with you, and then you're like... I'm really glad we can joke around like this. <laughs> I'm really glad we have such a good rapport. Well, nice back and forth, you know? And then who can say no to that? And then if they say, hey, I know that that wasn't a joke, threaten them again financially. There's no reason not to. I was serious about my friend from Xbox Live. <laughs> it's true. And then, you know, go back to the couch you live on and hang with your friend. Afterwards... <laughs> That applies to anybody, not your specifically friends, Jack. Your friends will love it, and they'll love hanging out with you. Everyone loves a good hang with friends, as evidenced by this famous fight, Hang With Friends. Hang with no, no, no! no. 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 Let's not you have to stop doing this! No. And then... No, no, no! And then you tell your dad about it. He's also in the balls and stuff. As evidence right here. Oh my fucking god. Gay sex with me is a real home run. <laughs> and, then, and then and then to cap it all off, just lie about your opinions on the internet. As in right here. That is not the way he feels. Anyways, that's it. Finish. God damn you, Mr. Nick, everybody. What the fuck? And he's not just a freelance journalist, he's also a damn good musician. Motherfucker.
<laughs> hey, wasn't that one picture of the background on your phone? Which one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Nick, how would you make that thing talk one time? <laughs> downright guitar to <laughs> guys uh, as we all know St. Patrick's Day just passed us and we all had a damn good time and didn't get drunk enough to cry uh, <laughs> but you know I feel like the Irish get a lot of bad rap mm -hmm. you're yeah. here to talk to us today about maybe rethinking some of the harmful Irish stereotypes it's Brian Higgins everyone <laughs> Brian Higgins, I'm actually, my name is Seamus McDonough. Seamus McDonough, Seamus McDonough. Oh, I forgot. Yes, people forget sometimes, <laughs> which is what I'm here to talk about. You just look so much alike. I know, I look like him, but if, with, a, with a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this very realistic brogue. <laughs> well, Seamus, you're here to talk to us about... I'm here to talk about uh, the, the harmful Irish stereotypes I saw this weekend. Here in Austin for St. Patrick's Day. Look at this. Oh, that's <laughs> Shameful, you know. People with their green beer and their fighting and their drunkenness and they're throwing up in the street. That's not what being Irish is about, you know. I saw you out there. I saw all you out there with your kiss me on my Irish shirts and your fuck me on my Irish shirts and your spit in my mouth on my Irish shirts. There's a lot of shirts out there. <laughs> None of them are realistic. See, the thing about Irish, these stereotypes are harmful. Irish have a rich cultural heritage should be celebrated and not mocked. You hear that? I'll tell you my story. So, we all know about the troubles in Ireland. <laughs> Do you know about the troubles? I in don't. Ireland? I feel like I'm gonna is learn that, here. Well, is that when DUI laws were enacted? <laughs> See, this is the shit I'm on about. This is the fucking shit. The shite, you people. What? Well, how's this for funny? In 1981, the hunger striker Bobby Sands and his compatriots. They decided to, to, to protest their unjust prison conditions by the British. And they went on a hunger strike, and 10 of them, they gave their lives. 21 of them decided to hunger strike. They paid the ultimate price. Is that funny to you? No, it's not. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> and my hunger strike, in that same year, I began my own hunger strike. And I continue that hunger strike today, and I will not stop until Northern Ireland is liberated from the British. It's not so funny, huh? No. no. <laughs> it's not funny. Now, you may be asking, you just frequently <laughs> ask questions. You may be asking, if I've been on a hunger strike for 43 years, how am I still alive? Well, uh, this is where a bit of the controversy regarding my hunger strike comes in. Uh, well, while my compatriots decided to uh, forego all food, I decided to only cut out my favorite food, which is potatoes. Potatoes. Yes. So uh, some people say things like, that's not a hunger strike, you just stopped eating potatoes. And to them I say, well, I really like potatoes. It's, that's true. They're kind of like my favorite food. Yeah. And if you haven't had your favorite food for 43 years, that's like kind of tough. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like a hard time. So, I mean, it's not sure you can have a balanced diet without starches, but it's, it's really hard, and I think you shouldn't be laughing at us. Uh, another question, can I have yams? Yes, of course I can have yams. <laughs> I mean, a yam is not a potato. I mean, unless you call them sweet potatoes, then yes, I guess. But they're more like a different thing. So I can have yams, but I have rules for the yams. Like, I have to have them as a side dish. I can't have them as, like, the main dish. So oh, I can, man. So I can't have dishes like, you know, yams benedict or... <laughs> Leg of yam or <laughs> rack of yam, and that's that's tough because you know having done as a yam is just a side dish. It's yams rock of honey baked yam. Honey baked yam? No, I haven't had that in years. So don't laugh at me. We're not a joke. It's, it's tough. And as I say in my manifesto, a world without yams is more cruel and unjust than anything the British could dream up. So why would I deprive myself of that? Uh, can I have French fries? Yes, of course. Uh, and. Uh, as it says in the Bible, and also page 289 of my manifesto, it's a very long manifesto, most of it is a cookbook. Uh, 
But as it says in the Bible, to fry a thing is to destroy its soul. So of course this is easy, I can have french fries. Uh, what is an impossible potato? <laughs> So this is interesting. This is an invention of my own. Uh, you may have seen me on Shark Tank or uh, possibly more realistically uh, the YouTube compilation Shark Tank Fails 7. Uh, but uh, well, it's kind of like uh, a Beyond Meat or an Impossible Meat, but uh, whereas those are plant-based substitutes for meats, this is a meat-based substitute for plants. <laughs> so, <laughs> what I've done is I've taken a potato and I've I've made the the, the, the same texture of a potato with all ground beef, and uh, I thought I had Mark Cuban at a hook for a little bit, but uh, I thought I could get him at the veganism angle, but uh, he was a little concerned with pre revenue, and also this is the opposite of veganism. <laughs> so um, another frequently asked question: Can you drink potatoes? Yes, I've created a beer called Spud Suds. Uh, <laughs> which you can find at uh, my house, no grocery stores. And uh, you know, many beers uh, use wheat for their, for their grain, but I use potatoes and uh, I can drink them. Yeah. Because I'm still hunger striking. I'm still hungry for potatoes, but I still only drink them. And um, in conclusion, you should not be culturally insensitive to the very real struggles of the Irish people. And please tell Mark Cuban to invest in my potato beer. <laughs> Yes, that is it for me. Is that uh, it? Yes, yes, that's it. Would you it. like to leave on anything else? Or is... uh, I would say uh, if you could also contact Mr. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> hot dog! Get your hot dog! Yeah, yes. <laughs> hot dog! He's over there! Keep it going. All right, okay. All right. All right. Hot dog. <laughs> Seamus McDonough, everybody. Hot dog! Give it up for Seamus, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the structural integrity of the lighting. <laughs> that is quite fun. Oh, what's the next? Are so much shorter. What is this? <laughs> uh, generally, uh, at some point in the night, you'll think to yourself, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and at some point in the show, we like to answer that question for you, so you don't have to think. We do it for you, and uh, we send a brave man out into the street to find out what is really the fuck going on around here. Yeah. Give it up. <laughs> For Philip Garcia. Philip Garcia, everybody. With what the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah. God, he looks so nice. Is it we good on sound? Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey, yeah, hey, everybody. Who are we on? We're on 60 right now. We're on 60 right now. What's what, the, cool? what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? We're on 60 right now. Today, we're asking, what do you think about Texas banning adult films? I tried to get on Pornhub the other day. <laughs> And that shit told me I was blocked. Stop jacking up, that shit bad for you. Stop doing that shit. I don't even be my meat. But I tried to get on Pornhub, yeah. and it was blocked. Are so you watch porn for the aesthetic? Just because I want to watch it. So y'all are in agreement with the porn band? I am, I am. You think that, in general, we need to be watching less porn? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. no. Stop beating y'all shit. Stop watching less porn. I'm gonna go just, I'm gonna go Bro, I keep on beating y'all meat, so I don't grow hair on your palms. <laughs> <laughs> We're back here on 6th Street in Austin, Texas, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on uh, with the new ban on internet porn. You have to like verify your ID now to watch pornography on the internet in Texas. You have to take your ID, your license, and scan it and give it to a porn company in order to watch adult films now. I'm not saying I'm upset. I'm actually, I didn't even notice, to be honest with you. I'm, I, I, I don't even watch that stuff. I haven't even noticed that. I, I haven't used a web browser in years, so it, it doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not upset at all. Dude, we're trying to figure yeah, out what the fuck is going on with Texas banning adult films on the internet. Fucking bullshit. I was a late night out of Vietnam. I went on it. I was fucked. What site did you have to go to instead? None. This site. No. I got some rock roll memories in there, bro. Fucker. <laughs> Talking this guy about porn. You do it, <laughs> sir. How do you feel about the porn ban in Texas? The what? They banned the internet <laughs> porn in Texas. How do you feel about that? <laughs> You think it, it is an attack on do you think it's a further attack taking away like censorship? Of course it is! Yeah! We're a great country! How many times did somebody told me I couldn't watch porn? I tell me suck my twin! <laughs> the new Texas thing where it's now a thing, it's like you can't yeah. I hate that because I'm on Pornhub, so oh, yeah. like, yeah. Oh. honestly, I think it's okay because, no, 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 listen, 
listen, listen. Are you only fans? So it's kind of like, you know, pushing all the traffic to the other side. Do you feel me? How many times do you think it's too many times in a week to watch porn? Shit, there ain't no limit. <laughs> the limit does not exist. Yeah, there's no limit. That normal answer doesn't exist to that question either. I hear daily is bad. I hear every other day is okay. And then y'all are saying you can watch as much porn as you want. Watch as much as you want. Snubs for different things. Uh, you feel me? Like... Quite literally, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got any comments on porn up being all? It's fucking bullshit. This state is supposed to be free. Fuck Greg Abbott. Fuck Greg Abbott. You couldn't watch it on video though. How did y'all know about Texas man? That's fucked up, yeah, dude. Why would they do that? When did y'all find out? Oh, yeah, yesterday. I found out yesterday. Did y'all have to go to a porn site? You're not going. I had to go on black. I had to go on black. videos that are like the worst resolution, like it looked like it was filmed through a microwave type shit. Like, talking like 480p porn? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I need my 4K. Oh, it's VR shit, you know what I'm Y'all think this will push y'all to start paying for porn if you already aren't? I already do. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Texas banning adult films on Pornhub? Dude, I'm, I'm low-key pissed about it. Like, that's like some real shit. Yeah? Yeah, like they shouldn't have banned that shit at all. Cause like, all my boys, they're tapped in right now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you beat them off if it came down to it? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't, I'm not joking them yet, but like... I don't know. I don't know. I guess it might be different, but not right now. You know about that? Sadly, yeah. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about Texas banning something like that? I mean, I'm from Charlotte, but we just got banned, so I don't really don't care. You know what I mean? But I'm outside. The homes are outside. Do you think that gambling being legalized in this like big wave, how it's been, do you think that there's any correlation maybe to them like getting rid of porn and being like, y'all can spend money on gambling, but y'all can't beat off anymore? I mean, they took porn away and, and brought gambling. So people can pay for porn and gambling, bro. They smart as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga's smart. They smart as fuck, smart. Damn. No, it's a real life shit though. Honestly, it's a real shit. It's a correlation. Probably. These niggas sad in the press, so now they just gonna spend their money on betting and shit. How many do you think it's too many times in a week to watch porn or masturbate? I think it's normal for like three times a week, bro. Once you go like four or five, bro, you kinda, you need to go outside. You're gooning. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> Six hours in a row. <laughs> go outside, cousin. <laughs> bro, I need you to do me a favor. I want, can you do a 360 and show the people on, on the block? Look at all these hoes outside! <laughs> Go outside! 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 Go
Nick gets his in VHS. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> you guys remember those two girls? Yeah, very about, uh, hot shit. Two, yeah. two girls, one bucket. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. We're going to keep it pushing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it costs a lot of money to to be able to come up with stuff on the spot. And to keep the lights on. And to and keep off. the lights on and off yeah, here it costs in this club. to keep them off, then it does keep them on. Not a lot of people know that. We have a, uh, we get a sponsor every week, and uh, this week, we are brought to you by Sprite. Guys, give it up for Sprite, everyone. Sponsoring the show. No, thank you. season's coming up and uh yeah you know we would do all the debates and whatnot we get ready for everything uh here to get us a little prep for what's to come we're gonna have a debate tonight everyone give it up for your first debater it's uh it's go uh, god Good to be here, and everywhere else as well. <laughs> uh, God, you're debating, uh, who are you debating tonight? Actually? Why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce him, I think we gave you uh... Oh, you did, that's right. Uh, everyone, it is, uh... 
Elliot, it's Elliot Page, everyone. Actor <laughs> Elliot Page. Give it up for Elliot. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, what the hell, Whoa, man? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Was that, was was that told, supposed to be we, funny? We told, you to, say, <laughs> told to bring up Elliot Page. We told you to bring up the devil, dude. What the fuck is <laughs> that, Jeff? I may be the devil, but you got some demons, Jeff. That was crazy. <laughs> I can't tell them apart. <laughs> Dude, that is not chill, man. That's not how you get into my place. I'll tell you that right now. Well, you guys are ready for a debate? This is a debate that's probably been waiting for a long time, I suppose. Hey, before we get into it, I just wanted to... My buddy, uh, you guys might have heard of him, Santa, he just put out some merch. So, if you guys head over to uh, <laughs> thenorthpole.com, uh, it's a GoDaddy address. GoDaddy, great prices. <laughs> Me and Santa. Are we done? I just wanted to get that in before the camera. Jesus Christ. All right. Look, what are we debating? Are we, you know, you, you kids. Well, I've got, I've, got a, I've got a list of some stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we, we pulled, uh, what was it, like, God, like 173,000 humans to see. Yeah, we went to, uh, you might have heard of him, Mercury. He's a Greek, Greek kid, but uh, he's a pretty good worker. Sent him around. Uh, we got some numbers back. Mm -hmm. These yeah, are the uh, topics uh, affecting Americans the most. Yeah, and uh, I think the first one here we have is uh, vapes. What do you, how do we feel about vapes? I'm going to give it up to God first because I'm a Christian. Well, uh, and thank you, Jack. Yeah. And uh, I'm surprised to hear that, but I am glad, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I do see everything, you know, uh, even when you're lying. And... Uh, as far as vapes go, I, I'm pretty anti-vape. I say, just smoke a cigarette, man. It lasts longer, you know? It's, it's, it's a, an average 30 seconds in between vape hits. It's, it's 45 minutes between cigarettes. I think overall, we're talking about nicotine blood levels. More of a cigarette guy, personally. All right, and we'll have you, is it, we're going to close on that and the devil. Well, I mean, and honestly, no nicotine, but, you know, I get it. It's hard to be alive. That's, you know, the challenge. That's the challenge I gave you guys, so I'm aware, you know, it's hard to live in the human condition, but uh, maybe, you know, just if take a cigarette, you know, American spirits. All right. All right. And, uh, and we're, we're closing on that? We're gonna that's great. Yeah, we can pass it to the devil. Yeah, thank you to the one boo out there. Hell yeah, right on. <laughs> Uh, you know, listen, we're working hard down where I'm from, and uh, <laughs> down, way down south where uh, my people hail from, we're working round the clock to make your lives miserable, and uh, I think we've been doing a pretty good job. What do you think? Make some noise! Anybody actually happy here? <laughs> right. Exactly. That's what, I, that's what I love to hear. Uh, so, yeah, with the 45-minute break for cigarettes, look, your guys' is fucking psyches can't handle that long of a time. They you okay? can. You gotta you believe need it. Hey, it's hey, my hey. time! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to lay down the hammer. Uh, you guys can't wait 45 minutes. You need a constant stream of nicotine going into those pretty little lungs of yours so I can see you all sooner! Yeah! Alright. We're closing arguments on that. Very nice. I'm actually going to start doing a little... I'm actually going to start doing a little... Ooh, ooh. This next one, Mike, you want to bring up this next one? Let's uh, see. This is one of my favorites. I, I really, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about this. Is, uh, getting fucked up on weekdays. Yeah, how do we feel about that? Let's go 30 seconds to the devil first, changing it over. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, I think that uh, you know, getting fucked up on the weekdays is honestly not okay. Truly. Is your mom still alive? Not for long. <laughs> do not fuck with me. And do not get fucked up on the weekdays. I need you out there. I need you only vaping. I need you experiencing all of the pain that I have to offer. You understand? All right. 30 seconds. Very okay. nice for the devil. God, we're going to go over to you getting fucked up on the weekdays. What is your proposition? Well, uh, you know, getting messed up on a good weekday, I don't have any... Uh, yeah, I don't really think that's that big of a deal. I sometimes, I get messed up on the weekdays. You know, people are, you know, constantly hitting my line asking me to, you know, get into the office and take care of various things. And sometimes you just got to lay around and, um, you know, question where you're from, what you are, if you can even have an identity, if that's even possible. 
if you're an observable entity or if possibly just something that exists in the idea space, that really, that's a lot for me to handle, you know? I mean, as much as it is for you guys hard to be alive, it's also hard for me to be, again, I mean, God. I'm God. So think about if you were God, that would that'd be rough. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, you know, fucking Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, God, very nice. Uh, we're gonna move on into some actual, you know what? This is, this is a fan favorite, I feel like, and one we're probably all wondering. God, I'm gonna have you up first for this. Gay sex, how are we feeling about this? 30 seconds on the clock. Um, <laughs> look. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I, <laughs> if you guys really want to have gay sex that bad, then it's cool. Oh god, it's really beautiful. That was deep. I mean, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over to the devil. Devil, let's uh, let's hear your side of the the street. I've always been a fan of the stuff. Um, I consider myself a sommelier of sodomy, you know? I, and uh, I gotta say, you know, I've always loved it, and I've always held that opinion, and this motherfucker only changed his tune after I showed him what gay sex was like, so. Okay. <laughs> I guess it stands. All right. Mike, do you have any? We, oh. I don't think that we need to talk about anything else. Really? What about, we'll talk. What about, oh. Don't be like that, baby. Come on now, baby. You know, it's just hard. Like, Come on now, give him a smile, baby. I have so many friends and they have found love. Like Santa, he's, I mean, he's always had a Mrs. Cole. Damn, you kind of cute with it when you're crying. <laughs> I've heard that before. Uh, shit. No, seriously. That's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much. <laughs> Jack, I can't wait to see you in three months. Oh, it's going to be so exciting. I'm saying that you a hot tub, buddy. All the tubs out there are hot. No, me and Satan go way back. Destination wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, let's hear it. How are we doing out there so far? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Told you we'd bring it down to a two. <laughs> <laughs> guys, my, this next guy, he's, uh, I mean, he's all around town. He's damn bip, Aussie. Bipping and bopping. He's, yeah, he's been all around, all across the pond, oh, <laughs> yeah. over the lake, and uh, he's important as fuck. But uh, give it up, make some noise, start clapping right now. It's Flip Lumbo. Flip Lumbo. Talk about rocks. Talk about some rocks. Oi. Oh, all right. Oi, oi. Hello, lady cunts and gentle cunts. It's me, <laughs> Flip Lumbo, here to talk about crocs. <laughs> Not the kind you thought I'd be talking about, ain't that right, you fuckers? Uh, is it the right one? Yes. Uh, oh, good. Oh, so we all know. <laughs> what an official crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's, it's official. Uh, officially booming business. Uh, 2004, circa 2015. We all remember that. Uh, <laughs> We all remember that, you know, snorting cocaine off a of wallaby, shit like that. Um, good stuff. And then it went to shit. Uh, something about Trump and Crocs didn't work out, I'm not sure why. Uh, but now they're fucking back. Not as fast, but they're back. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. There's not upwards. even a fucking... I think he's saying Crocs are over there. <laughs> well, there's, we, there's more Crocs over here than there were over here. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. 
<laughs> All right, I didn't say, you know, are they lightweight? Why are they buying them? Why the fuck? You can't do a shoey out of a croc. It's fact. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking spills all over your nan. Um, I'm also half British, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all good. My name's, I spent some time across the pond, but we're back in Australia There's for the croc. a little croc. Chinese in there every now and then. Maybe. <laughs> oh, ni hao. Um, <laughs> No, can they cheat? No, that's the wrong one. Uh, no, they're not lightweight. Uh, they're fucking heavy. Um, maybe. Are they affordable? Definitely not. I mean, I was supposed to have a picture. Uh, fuck me. Fuck me to tears. Um, I mean, if we refresh, did a lot yeah, of, of last-minute editing on this one. Like, <laughs> live. It was in the back, just, you know, Vegemite and shit. Slime. You were working on this for um, seven hours. Like Is seven hours, nice years. Days? Yeah, uh, you know, these graphs don't make themselves. Uh, <laughs> you've got to look them up on Getty Images. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, they're not affordable. I mean, Jesus, fuck, that's like, that's like me renting Austin. Uh, <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> Bob's uh, Yeah, are they pussy magnets? Now, this, a lot of people say yes in Austin. You know, it shows confidence to wear that. Uh, you know, and turns out. Turns out, oh, yeah, they are. They're fucking pussy magnets. <laughs> if you got a mullet and a croc, but even... <laughs> I mean, Dean Stanfield, I've seen him, dude. I've, take, I've seen him take down. Um, that guy gets pussy. Oh, it's probably yeah. a nature documentary about that guy. He doesn't it's understand brilliant. it, but he gets... <laughs> he gets it. He doesn't understand it, but he gets it. Wait, wait, really, though? You're saying these get pussy? These croc shoes, you can't do a fucking exhibit A. Fuck! No, maybe, maybe, though. Wait for it. Exhibit A. Ooh, you sound on this? Dude, that's... Pornhub's back. Oh, I had to put on the VPN for this one. Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> yeah. One more. Oh, he's a champ. Damn, back shots. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you guys remember this, like 2012, dude. This yeah. is... Big moment for me, I remember. And Jack no, was born. <laughs> I was gonna be a surfer, can you believe that? And now, now this is, I get to do cool shit like this. Uh, <laughs> this is exhibit B, uh, same video. C, different color. You know, turtles, they don't see color, they just see hot shoes and they fuck it. Um, <laughs> yeah, a ton of holes. <laughs> so I mean, look. Turtles fucking crap. They fuck crocs. I, I mean, why else would you buy these fucking shoes if you don't want to turn? Oh my sorry, fucking god! Sorry, sorry, <laughs> fucking god! Sorry. The algorithm's a little fucked. That was just me. Uh, <laughs> you know, that was that was why Crocs. Um, and this is somebody loves them so much. Fucking, this is on me. I'm not gonna show you. Uh, that won't go like that. Ah, uh, fuck. More. See, they just keep coming, just like the turtles. <laughs> they, it fucking prove it's the same one. Show me, show me the URL. Show me the handprints. All right. Now it's time for celebrity endorsements. You know, you might not believe this, but Flip, Flip knows some fucking people, and they're here to tell you while they buy Crocs. So this is Alan Rickman before he died, talking about his love of shoes. You know, is some voicemails uh, right. all queued up for this. Great piece of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a quiet guy. Um, <laughs> he's quiet. <laughs> you know, he was not doing well. He died, you remember. Um, this is this is Ray Romano, uh, of course, doing maybe louder, hopefully. Jesus Christ. I mean, can you believe that? We've got famous people <laughs> leaving me. Okay, now Trump, Trump you know, Trump had to can leave me one. He, he's, you know, it's cool, of course. I mean, look at these shoes. They look like turtles. Yeah. 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 Little turtles. You know what? This could go on for far too long. I could fuck the, I could fuck the whole show up right here, but we're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> I know you want to hear them, but it's too quiet and I can't fucking... I'll be back, alright? I'll be back with my celebrities. God damn, that one was a good one. Okay, now this guy... 
Could you imagine that? A ghost car. All right, no, we're not gonna. It wasn't me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. Right, I've got to go, Jack. I've got to go. This has been brilliant. Really, thank you guys for the time. Bye bye. Oh my god. This is actually, we're showcasing a, a little spin-off of our show tonight. We're, we're trying to get into the game show uh, world, and here to help That's us right. out, you guys give it up for Good Evening Feud with, with Stein Carvey. Oh, Steve Carvey. Hey, Steve Carvey. Steve. Steve. Steve Carvey. Gentlemen, welcome to Good Evening Feud. I'm your host, Dean Garvey, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing? Make some noise. Make some noise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa! How we doing, folks? Who's tuned into Good Evening Feud before? Yeah. That's a lie. This is my first time doing it, dude. Don't do that shit again, all right? <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to start this game show tonight. We have our two contestants right here, Jack Timmons and Mikey Biggs. Guys, make some noise for them. Hey. Mikey, take it. Get bite time. Bite time for Mikey. They didn't cook right. those, you know that, right? My bad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, <laughs> that's ice cold. Yeah, it's the coldest ice in the world. You guys I'm ready? sorry, I, 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 I come back out. No, 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 sorry, Steve, no, sorry. All right, guys, we're doing three rounds of trivia tonight. Each contestant's gonna get one question. If they get it right or wrong, regardless, the next contestant's gonna get a completely different question. Guys, if you get the question right, we have cash prizes. Oh, okay. Every that's single right. question will be paid a cash prize. If you get the question wrong, I brought my executioner, Bruce. Bruce, why don't you come out and wave to the people real quick. Let them know what we got. Guys, make some noise for Bruce. Hey. He'll be administering a, a punishment to each contestant. Oh, scary. That gets wow, the question, guy. Who's ready to start a uh, game show tonight, guys? Let me, let me make some fucking noise. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to start round one, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Who's ready for round one? That's our ring girl, Dolly. Make some noise for Dolly, everybody. All right, we're gonna start with question one. Mikey Biggs, contestant A, are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready, Dolly. All right, folks. In, oh, excuse me, on July 16th, 2008, which celebrity published the following tweet? Is meatball a fruit? Question mark. A, Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. B, uh, <laughs> Autistic Swedish activist Greta Thornburg, <laughs> or C, American hip hop sensation Post Malone. Oh man. 12 seconds on the clock, Mikey, whenever you're ready, please submit your answer. That's, I mean, who hasn't asked themselves that question? But uh, I think I'm gonna go with C, Post Malone. Ladies and gentlemen, that is, we are on the board for Mikey Biggs. Make some noise, folks. We can uh, get our banker out here to pay Mikey. All right. <laughs> We get the banker out here. All right, I'm realizing right now I did not hire a banker, so it's coming straight from Daddy's wallet. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Oh, it's one dollar. Right, you guys get the concept. You get the you get the question right. You get a cash prize. You get cool. it wrong. Bruce yeah. is gonna come out. Pretty easy questions. Jack, are you ready for yours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see here. What is the metric unit consisting of 10,000 square meters that is the primary measure of land in most countries? 
Is it A, cubit, B, acre, C, hectare, or D, ceometer? Jack, 12 seconds on the clock for you. Lucky. Well, could you repeat them? You have eight seconds on the clock, Jack. A, B, or C. I'm gonna go with A. Ah, uh, the answer was D. That's too fucking bad. Bruce, if we can get out here, please, we have our first punishment. We've got a, we got a wrong answer, Bruce. Take it. Question two, Mikey, you're on the clock. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, they're gonna get a little harder from here. On September 4th, 2006, which famous animal, uh, excuse me, which animal enthusiast celebrity said these famous last words? Crikey, mate, I got bobbed. <laughs> Was it A, English primatologist, anthropologist, and friend of chimpanzee, Jane Goodall? B, American equestrian, Kenneth O'Pinion, AKA Mr. Hands, the horse fucker. <laughs> Or C, thank you, Nick. Or C, Australian hero Steve Irwin. You have 12 seconds on the clock, mate. Uh, the quote was, "Crikey, mate, I got bobbed." Yeah, that's tough. They all sound like. Really think it through, Mikey. Don't watch this one. I think I'm gonna go with C. Guys, that's the correct answer. Let's make some fucking. That's another dollar on the board. All-star performance tonight, guys. We're right. seeing an all-star performance tonight. Jack, you're on the clock. You ready for question number two? Yeah, how many rounds are there before? Three we... rounds. Calm oh, the fuck okay. down. How about you get one right before you challenge me? That's all right. All right. Let's go round two. Question number two for Jack. What year did the annexation of Puerto Rico take place? This one is not multiple choice. 12 seconds on the clock for Jack. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, 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 Seven seconds, The Jack. annexation of Puerto Rico? Um, uh... Not, mm, 1972. Ooh, it's, you're about seven years off. Uh, Bruce, he got it wrong! It, it, hey, I feel like you don't even know. I don't know the year. I have no idea. It's no, not on the no, card. No, 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 it's no, not on no, the card. No. It's not on the card. All right, you got your vinegar. Oh, why did you put so much vinegar on me? <laughs> uh, it's actually piss. You'll be fine. Oh. All right, guys, so who's ready for round three of trivia, folks? Yeah. Make some noise for Dolly. This is the last time you're going to see her tonight unless you meet her out back. She'll be selling bass off till 2 a.m. in the alley, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get live for Dolly one more time. Come on. That's a fine piece of ass. All right, guys, this is the last and final round. It's going to get very, very tough from here. It really is hell. Uh, the roof is coming down, as you see. All right, Mikey, you've had some softballs. This one's going to be kind of tough. Guys, make some noise for Mikey Biggs. He's having an all-star run. Can we make some fucking noise? This is the performance of the century. You fucking got a fucking make-a-wish right All right, now. Mikey. <laughs> Mikey Biggs, what is your middle name? Is it A, <laughs> Phineas, B, Angela, or C, fill in the blank? Uh, and I am gonna need to see some ID to verify. It's not on the card. The middle one, right? It's the... <laughs> <laughs> David. I think it's David. Is this your final answer? Yeah, that's gonna be my final answer. Ladies and gentlemen, that's another dollar for Mikey Biggs. Make some fucking noise! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm need that back for the bus fare on my way out of here. You hold on to it for now. Jack, are you ready for your final question? David. You're seeing how this is going. They're getting tough now. We're really going to need you to get it together. Oh, Guys, make some noise for Jack Timmons. He's, he's, having a, he's having a rough outing out here. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get okay. behind him. Let's get behind him, guys. Okay, you ready, Jack? Yeah. What is Jack Timmons doing after tonight's show? <laughs> a. Get a snack. B. Masturbate. C. Sit at the end of the bar talking with his friends' ears off three hours about a breakup that happened several months ago until one of us finally speak up and say we don't want to hear this shit anymore, even though we care, but we're fucking tired. <laughs> Jack, you have 12 seconds. I'm gonna go with B and C. <laughs> it's actually D, all of the above. Uh, Bruce, can we get out of here, please? Last punch from Bruce.
smoke in the bathroom. Uh, are you guys ready to fucking yeah bring this to a con con conclusion? <laughs> the grand finale. Oh god, you so guys are in for such a treat. This guy, I mean, one of the greatest entertainers of our generation, truly. Please get as loud as humanly possible for the wonderful. <laughs> what? Not going to mention it. No, <laughs> yeah. it was really cool. It was, they, were, they did such a good job of getting as loud as humanly possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy. Yeah. Like, All right, I'm down. Yeah. I guess I am a human. <laughs> it's Donnie Haynes. So nice to be here. <laughs> so nice to have you. How have you been? Jack, I've been very happy lately. Oh, I'm well, happy to hear How that. have you been? Um, yeah, better and better. Every day. How's it going? Why are you so happy? Well, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be, we got the official word. We're doing a Donnie Haynes and Friends. Yeah! 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 That's yeah! yeah! I'm releasing a seven minute video I made. <laughs> Be here. <laughs> we'll have all well, the whole crew. We're sponsored by Z those bastard Xenocorps. <laughs> those spider producing fucks. <laughs> but they are very, they're a proud sponsor. Xenocorp. Well, Donnie, what brings you on the show? You wanted to mention that, and then uh, what, what else is going on? I'd really love to just, um, it's also going to be a single release party. <laughs> I'll be releasing a new single. Oh my God. That's as insane. well as a full feature seven minute video. <laughs> Just to walk you guys through, it's about the Great Goblin Dragon War that we all know about. <laughs> <laughs> we all live through, and we all know me. And I'm excited to share it with you. Just a little bit of, a <laughs> little bit of my story. <laughs> right here, right now. No, this is coming up. Uh, we don't have a date yet. <laughs> it's coming up at some point. <laughs> but right now, I'd like to. I guess give you guys a little taste of what's to come. <laughs> You guys excited for that? Does that sound good to you? Yeah! Yeah! Necromancer Nick, you could give me a... Yo. Oh, shit. Yeah! Keep it going for Necromancer with the tastiest of licks. Yeah! Butterfly. <laughs> Butterfly, Mr. Caterpillar. Butterfly. Why do I want to die? I should just want to fly, but every day I want to die. Come on, let's get some energy up. Come on, you guys. Is this tomorrow? What do I feel? Like yesterday was it. Next week will I feel happy? I am so excited for this Donnie Hayden friend. So excited. So excited. Bastard from hell. Sweeter than seeds. From a sunflower. Sunflower seeds. Salty and sweet. Chili little peppers. Won't you give me a treat? Or something. Sweeter than fog, leaner <laughs> than speed. Dragon, will you come and take my hand? Dragon, will you come and be your man? I want to kiss you. Got a little fucker with your eyes so close. It's like nobody knows. 